Okay, YouTube pyro enthusiasts, I've got another version of the hardwired mortar rack here to show y'all. In this case, you can see uh, when the cat gets out of the way that I got one of these storage crates at Lowe's. They're really cheap, they're only about five bucks. And I reinforced the bottom with a piece of plywood. Here's the finished product. In this particular iteration, I used the Excalibur mortar tubes and I prepped them like I showed you on the previous videos. Uh, I sawed off the bottom flange and left on the reinforcing sleeve. And it just so happens in this crate that you get from Lowe's, you can fit 18 of these mortars. They do fit a little loose, so I put a couple of wooden spacer blocks in there. You can see one down here uh, at the bottom left to take up some of the space. I think I've got another one diagonally over on the far right corner. Let's go over there and take a look. Yeah, there's one down there. And by putting these spacer blocks you get a nice firm fit of your Excalibur tubes. You see I've got this one fused up already. Uh, before I take it out to the chute site, I'll put foil across the tops of each row of tubes so I don't get any pre-ignition problems. And then, like in the previous video, I used a speaker terminal. You know, when you put these speaker terminals on these racks, you can cut your igniter short. You don't need to use the entire length of it. I just put the igniter on the fuse and then take as much of it as I need to get into the speaker terminal. Uh, this particular one's got about 15 feet of cable on it. Going over here to my field module, which in this case is just a very inexpensive quantum fire. Uh, I didn't put the speaker pins on this yet. This just has bare wire for this video, but uh, of course I'll put the speaker pins on the ends of the wire there so I can get a nice durable reusable shooting wire. So there's your 18 tube Excalibur mortar rack uh, hardwired uh, like in the previous video. I know some people aren't real fond of these milk crate racks. I think I'll probably reinforce all around the sides of it uh, with some Gorilla Tape or something. I've used these racks like this before, never had a problem at all, and I don't expect to, but just in case we get a blowout, probably wouldn't hurt to reinforce these sides. They're really pretty strong. I've really stepped on them and yanked on them, and they'd be very hard to break, but I might reinforce it anyway. I haven't quite finished this one yet. You saw in my previous video how I bring the shooting wire through a drilled hole with a knot on the back side for the strain relief. Uh, this one hasn't been mounted up like that yet. That's not a s very durable connection there to just have that wire without any kind of reinforcement. So just like on the previous video, I will drill the hole, put the knot on the back so we have good strain relief there. There we go. Now it's fixed up like I want it. Got the hole drilled in the crate the knot on the back side of the wire and no uh, strain can be put on that soldered connection there if somebody kicks the wire so that's good since this crate isn't made out of wood I used bolts to secure the speaker terminal to the milk crate I used stainless bolts I got at a marine supply house Phillips head I put a washer on the back side and before I tighten down the nuts I put on a couple of drops of Loctite to secure it so it won't come loose out in the field. One really nice thing about using Excalibur tubes to make a rack is that those reinforcing sleeves give you some room between adjacent rows of tubes here. So it's real easy to get your fingers and hands down in there with your foil. Uh, it's a lot more difficult in a rack where all the tubes are touching each other like this other fan rack I've got here. All these rows of tubes 
are almost in direct contact with each other it's really hard to slip your foil in there between adjacent rows of tubes the finished product I've got my milk crate Excalibur rack with 18 tubes they're all foiled up it was easy to get in between the rows and get the foil there I've got my hardwired system with my speaker terminal and 15 feet of shooting wire secured to the rack my mortars are all fused I've got my igniter connected and run into the speaker terminal I've got 15 feet of shooting wire all folded up and tucked down into the side of the rack when I get to the shoot site all I have to do is unfurl the shooting wire set my rack where I want it plug into my field module and I'm ready to rock